Enter. Oh, Brigadier General, uh, um, please do pardon my disheveled appearance, sir. I wasn't expecting... <laughs> no, you're right. We agreed back when you made Brigadier General and I became your lieutenant that rank and file do not apply when we're alone. Sorry about that. The pressure put on us to make a grand first impression at this military ball still hasn't worn off. In fact, it's still sticking to me like a bad rash. Again, so sorry. What am I still doing awake? Just jotting down my thoughts in this journal. Since I couldn't sleep, I might as well recall the night. Helps keep me sane. Shut up! I haven't had a diary since high school. And as if you're one to judge, you talk to the base's shop owner like she's your own personal shrink. <sighs> Was she just ask her out already instead of torturing the poor girl? And me. Oh, get over yourself. I am not jealous of a stupid meathead like you and that countertop mouse. Neither of you are a blip on my radar. I'm sorry about that big guy. I didn't mean to sound like that. It's just... This whole night of safeguarding you, maintaining this oppressive air about us. All the while, you pretended to give two rat tails about those stuffed shirts and what they were talking about has left me really irritated. <laughs> I swear, I thought you were going to sucker punch that foreign minister if he brought up his 15 summer homes one more time. <laughs> I thought you'd approve of the ghost pepper dust I sprinkled on his poppers. Poor bastard stayed in the bathroom all night. Hey, no need to thank me. Being your bodyguard doesn't mean I just protect you from hostile enemies, you know. Anyway, what brings you by? Aren't you supposed to be fast asleep and ready for another day of deployment and paperwork? You wanted to check on me. Why? As you can see, I'm fine. You can tell I'm not fine. What do you mean? During the ball, I looked upset. I was hardly eating when I can normally eat like a raptor. Hey! You remembered my favorite dinosaur! Aww! You saw I was especially irritated when you were dancing with Christy. You know, she's all about women being treated seriously in the military, but comes dressing like an exotic whore looking to have hot dogs slipped into her taco. From how you wouldn't stop smiling at her, makes me wonder if she's the reason you're still awake. I didn't say anything. Is there something you actually wanted, or are we done here? I'm not angry at you. I don't have a reason to be. I'm just... Just... You're doing it again. You sit against the wall opposite me, close your eyes, and just listen. You've always been a great listener. I'm a great talker, huh? That makes it sound like I talk a lot. I've always been aware of it, but tonight really put into perspective that ever since I was little, I've never been allowed or able to do what I want in life. What I mean is, take me being your bodyguard, for example. I'm always expected to have this tough tomboy exterior. And given I'm more muscular than most women and I'm the combat trainer, there's always that preconception that, that I despise all the normal things women my age are into. I know you don't think that, but 99% of the world does. At least part of the world that I'm in. 
It was like that when I was a kid, too. I've told you this before, but my family is a military family through and through. Anything outside of joining the military was considered blasphemous. My dad caught me putting nail polish on once and gave me ten swats. Plus, he made me run laps. Oh no, that's not why I'm faster than you. You're just slow. <laughs> anyway, doing anything feminine was never an option for me. In truth, I never wanted to join the military. I wanted to be a nail tech. I find painting nails and hand care really soothing. And the variety of people that come through will make my job interesting day in and day out. I know you see nothing wrong with it, and, and you've often asked me why I don't take it up on my off times. Again, my family comes into play. They found out I was doing so with other women of the regiment to pass some downtime. My father had my commanding officer at the time punish me for wasting military resources. Yes, well, word spread what I was doing and I was mocked for months. It only stopped because I kicked the asses of everyone who mocked me in combat training. I gave them special attention. The one thing my family wasn't against me doing was getting married. Even went so far as to arrange meetings with those they deemed worthy of me. But they were nothing more than tools. Just toys for my family's whims who couldn't satisfy a kumquat, let alone me. I'm only dominant because that's how I was brought up. Contrary to what you might think, I don't like being dominant all the time. That only happened because my dad made sure to pick men who were too timid to raise an opinion against me. He wanted to make sure that our family line was always in charge, no matter what. For once, I wish someone else would take control. Let me feel as though I can be somebody different when I'm around them instead of what my family created. The control my family wants is so different. So different that I could never choose who I wanted to be with. Even if I was really interested in someone, my family would passive-aggressively make me feel stupid for liking them and then set me up with someone else. I got so sick of it that I told my father I'm more concerned with promotions than the cattle he sent me. In my eyes, they would never be worthy. Not like... Who did I like? Uh, that's not important. I gave up on him a long time ago. Not only because my family wouldn't approve, but also because he has better options than me. You think any man would be lucky to have me? You suck up. I wouldn't call someone who wasn't even allowed to make her own decisions in life a worthy candidate. Especially when the person she likes is... Well... It's... It's really nothing anymore. It's really getting late. I I'm getting tired. You should head back to your room and... Huh? No. No, 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 no. Please. Please don't sit close to me. And don't look at me like that. You'll just make it worse. <laughs> don't touch me either, please. Just go. Why? Why? Because the person I like is you, you dumbass. I've... I've liked you ever since we met in basic training. You didn't treat me like a pit bull on a chain. You just treated me like a person. You even got me flowers and special bath salts for my birthday. It made me happy. It was after training, and we both were named captains, that I wanted to ask you out. But my dad got in the way and convinced me that neither you nor I would be worthy of each other. And seeing all of those ladies hit on you, I just gave up. But when I got to be named as your LT and bodyguard, those feelings came rushing back. I started falling in love with you all over again. 
Seeing you dance and get friendly with Christy at the ball. I hated seeing you all smiles and comfy with her. Which is why it pisses me off that she could be the reason you've been up until now. Huh? She wasn't? You couldn't sleep from all the excitement and wanted to check up on me. Huh. You knew I was grumpy and wanted to come by and cheer me up. Why would you go out of your way to cheer me up at three in the morning like this? <sighs> because... You like me, too. You have... Ever since basic training... Wait, you have? That's why you put in multiple requests to have me as your LT and bodyguard. It was the best way for you to spend more time with me. But... Then... If that's true... Huh? No way. Wait. Is... Is that why whenever you wanted to just go for walks, you'd bring me along? They weren't for bodyguard reasons? All of those walks to cafes, restaurants, that one time we were caught in a storm and spent the night in a love hotel? Yes, yes, I know I said I would never bring up the hotel, but... But... Uh, that... That night at the hotel, I... I was really happy... I thought, maybe, just for that night, we'd... But then we were so exhausted that we just fell asleep. No, don't apologize, please. I was still so happy. I got to have you all to myself. Just having you there made me unbelievably happy. Being able to have you that close always makes my day better. Then you'd love to make my nuts better too. Starting now? What are you... Yes, it, it is late. We should go to bed. Oh, you, you mean together? Here, with me, in my room? No, 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 no. Well, um, I don't want you to leave. It's just, you know, it's the situ- Ugh, You suck at romance. Lay down already, you meathead. Um, can you- That is, I- Um- you, you know what spooning is, right? Good, because I want to be the little spoon for once. If that's okay. <sighs> so this is what a little spoon feels like. It's really nice. Do I know it feels nicer? No. What? Neck kisses? Mm. <laughs> hey, that tickles. It's really nice. Yeah. I want to stay like this with you. Forever and ever.